The news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Prince Amila Entertainment. Facebook, our Prince Amila Entertainment. Facebook group, our Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Today is the 22nd of March, uh, 2022. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Yes, it comes to you guys each and every day, each and every hour. We keep you guys informed about latest news. And uh, so, uh, President Emma Sumnangagwa reportedly squeezed uh, Police uh, Commissioner General Godwin Matanga over the Tata Peace Frequent Ban on Citizens Coalition for Change uh, campaign rallies across the country. Newsimbabwe.com reports that the incident happened at the Rupert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport on Wednesday last week when Matanga, along with other service chiefs, ministers, and senior NPF officials, welcomed Mnangagwa back from his Dubai trip. Sources at the airport said Mnangawa took particular exception to the Marondela rally which failed to take place the previous Saturday after police refused to sanction the gathering on the pretext that the party's notification came at short notice, NewZimbabwe.com was told. As you know, th these uh, dignitaries do not like to miss these occasions to show their faces to the president and they line up to greet him. That is when Matanga came up for some roasting. The president was clearly unamused. I think he spent a minute or so squeezing Matanga on why he was allowing that to happen. He pointed out to him that this was tarnishing the image of the country abroad and inviting unnecessary attention on Zimbabwe. He was particularly concerned with the Marundra rally, which attracted a lot of attention and wanted to know the exact reasons why police could not permit the rally. Matanga reportedly said the rally was banned because of fears of violence and then immediately blamed the cause for not attending to the Triple C application on time. Nangagwa, who appeared unsatisfied, told Matanga to fix the matter. However, the sources further said it was not clear whether Nangagwa was genuine in his probing since only two days later, police in Mashingo banned Triple C rallies on the pretext that NPF had booked the same venues ahead of the Northern Chamisa's led opposition. The rally only went ahead after the Mashingo High Court squashed the police ban and instructed the police to provide the necessary security. It also turned out that the ruling party did not have any rallies planned for either Mucheke or Mamuse Stadium as police claimed the stadiums were empty all day. So which means that uh, there's something wrong with the police and uh, with our Zimbabwe the public police punishment critical police because some of the actions are working but that's where the question is. But you see, I'm going to keep you guys in the loop regarding to uh, this development and the uh, ED Vakambo Tarana Matanga last week regarding to the work situation in Witiga about uh, the police burning uh, some of Triple C's rallies. Let's hope that uh, this won't happen for my election campaigns. Uh, after my by elections, and I and I remember about you next year 2023 is gonna be uh Zimbabwe national elections, and uh, so let's hope that uh, this won't happen. Where yeah, but the police will be banning some of the rallies saying that ED is gonna be here or it's gonna be there, and uh, because punishing is straight, but no longer to but you really don't know who is responsible for uh commanding the police to refuse some of these uh rallies and other support critical more provinces and so this is a uh, daily news breaking news everyday news on prince and miller entertainment tv but it's all in the comment section remember guys to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here each and every day each and every hour daily news breaking news everyday news bless up